Hey everyone on Facebook, how is everybody doing today? Uh, Dr. Kyle Loveless here, and I'm here with my beautiful brand new baby daughter, uh, Eleanor. Many of you have probably seen her uh, on some of the pictures that we posted, and we've gotten all kinds of good compliments about her. And, and just thank you all for um, just, I guess, your support for this time as patients and everything else. Um, but I wanted to take a, a moment, we, we shot a lot of Facebook Live videos uh, uh, before Christmas time, and then, you know, she, we, she started coming, and we just kind of took a break from it, and I want to get back on board and start shooting these videos again, and I think they really can be very valuable um, for, for those of you out there who are looking for more of a natural health way of doing things, and uh, again, this is Eleanor. She's beautiful. For the, so those of you who are getting on, uh, show her how much you love her, give her some likes. Yeah, you love your likes, right? And, uh, just uh, comments are also obviously welcome. But I want to talk about what we did with Eleanor um, as, as we're becoming new parents. I'm trying to get on this video. I keep like, sinking away here. As we become new parents, and uh, the things we've done as, as chiropractors to keep her healthy. You know, when, when she was first born, the very first thing I did was check her, her spine. And uh, she's getting a little fussy here. Am I going to have to hand you off? Yeah, I know. Let's go. Here you go. I'm going to hand it off to Holly. Okay, so, uh, but I want to talk about how to start to raise that healthy child because all of us as parents, the, for me at least, when, when she was born, I just got so concerned about making sure everything that was going on with her was right, that she was healthy, and that's all we really care about. We want our child to be healthy and loving life. And so the way we've done that is by having a philosophy and really an understanding of what health is. And I want to share that with you all first, and then we're going to talk about some things like croup, uh, torticollis, a digestive system problems like constipation that's very common with kids right now and how to help help with those things and what we've done for our daughter um, to make sure that stuff is um, yeah she's so tiny hey Katie what's up I haven't seen you in a long time good, good to hear from you um, but yeah so, so, so do how do we how can we do those things to keep her healthy so right off the bat the philosophy that we've taken when it comes to health our understanding of how the body works is that our body was made um, powerful, it has the amazing ability to heal, and it doesn't need things from the outside to make it healthy, that it was made perfectly, that, that the body was made as an, a healing mechanism that was created and will do the things that it needs to do as long as there's no interference. And so we try to keep as much interference out of our bodies as well as with Eleanor. And so the way we do that, when she first was born, the very first thing I did is I checked her nervous system as the nervous system controls your body. Right? For your heart to beat, your lungs to breathe, for anything in your body to work, you literally have to be getting signals from your brain down your spinal cord, out nerves to your organs. And when through the birthing process, I mean, we did, a, we did about a 24 hour birthing process. So that's a lot of trauma on a baby. And, and with the way they do birth now, it can be even more detrimental. There's pulling, there's twisting. If you have a C section, that baby can really be twisted out. And it can cause problems to their spine from the start. And they get something called subluxation, which is where the vertebrae can either lock out of place or, or not be moving properly, putting pressure on the nervous system, causing all kinds of health concerns or all kinds of health issues. And then, they, uh, and, and then we tend to have all kinds of chemicals going into our babies at an early age as well with vaccinations, the different vitamin K shots, erythromycin, eye creams, all this stuff in their environment at just such an early age. And then from in return, we start to see things like digestive problems, uh, torticollis, croup, and a, a host of other issues. So, very first thing we did is we checked our baby's spine. She was subluxated in the upper part of her neck. We did a very small adjustment. You see, if you look at my Facebook page, you'll see pictures of that happening. And uh, from that point, she's thrived since. When she came out, eyes wide open. She's been very alert. Um, patient people have told us that, uh, and what we've seen from other babies is that she just has this ability to just be very focused and open. And it's because her body is functioning at 100%. And so she did have an issue about two days ago of, with digestion, and she wasn't using the restroom. She went about two days without using the restroom, and we started. I didn't really notice it at first, but when we did, I checked her sacrum, her lower back, and it was locked and, and misaligned. We adjusted that and immediately started using the restroom. And that's what made me really want to talk about this today. Um, after I took a picture of me adjusting, somebody asked, why would a baby get adjusted? And the reason is, is because it opens up their nervous system to have the optimal ability to heal. So when we adjust that sacrum, or many times it can be issues with the upper part of the neck that can controls digestion, uh, immediately babies will use the restroom because it opens up that nerve flow. The body can now heal and it does what it needs to do. So if you're dealing, if you have a baby that's dealing with digestive issues, 
find yourself a good chiropractor in your area. I know that's not conventional. I get it. It's not, hey, it's not what I did growing up. It's not what I was used to either, but it works. It really does. And, it, and the cool part is, and the crazy part is, is you, if you go to your doctor, guess what they're going to do for you? They're going to give you a pill or a drug, and ki babies cannot be on pills and medications. The majority of these things, like acid reflux meds and, and, and things to get people, uh, babies' uh, digestive system moving, these things aren't tested for kids, and they're horrible for their bodies. Remember, a chemical is always going to be a negative impact on your child's health. So you want to do things naturally. Some other things that we did to help with this and, and, and that we've done in the past um, is to you can take magnesium. Uh, the mother can take magnesium as long as they're breastfeeding. That'll affect the baby. If there's things like um, uh, uh, doing the formulas, tend, we tend to see a lot of digestive issues, constipation issues with babies on formulas because they're not getting the enzymes from breast milk. So it's always best to do um, breastfeeding. But if you can't, there's certain uh, formulas. If you're interested, you let me know. Comment below and I'll, I'll get those formulas, uh, recipes to you that can still help with digestion as well to help with constipation. So the very first thing we do is always adjust. Get pressure off the nervous system, allow the baby's digestive system to work, the nervous system to work, and that's key. The second thing that I wanted to talk about was things like torticollis. Now, we haven't had any experience with this with our baby, luckily, um, but we have had patients come in with their kids or with their babies um, with torticollis. And what that is is when the muscles through the neck lock up and the, and the baby kind of sticks into this position, and typically that'll happen from, again, issues in the spinal column where the bones aren't moving properly, causing the muscles to clench down. And the same thing, we check the baby's spine, adjust, gets pressure off the nerves, allows those muscles to start to work, and also allows the bones to move the way they're supposed to. Typically with something like torticollis, it's a few adjustments and things start moving. It's really cool. But the problem is, again, you go to a doctor, a medical doctor, and they're going to give you a pill, and that's not the answer for your kids. So you always want to do things naturally. There's lots of herbs out there that you can do if you're breastfeeding that the mother can take. Um, another thing, there was a, um, something that we had read about, and we, we just tried this as well with um, Holly had eaten some peppers, uh, some like spicy food. And I mean, she, our Eleanor went from this baby that was just so calm and relaxed and, and sleeping to just cranky crying all the time. I know that's supposed to be what babies do. I get it. But we did something called, we got ginger tea, um, fennel tea, and then, um, what was the other one? Chamomile tea. And put those things together and we did a droplet. Literally got one of those droplet things and we squirted a half a droplet into her mouth and literally the rest of the night she slept. She's been great the rest of the day. Um, and it just calmed the, the um, gas in her gut. So just a kind of a cool tip there. Um, and so I wanted to get on just to shoot that stuff and, and start to get you thinking, when it comes to health, don't always go to the doctor, don't always go to the pill, right? There's things naturally that you can do. Chiropractic care is amazing for kids. We have a huge practice with lots of kids in our office. Um, we adjust them from day zero all the way up till, um, you know, obviously they're, they're teenagers. And it, it just makes sure that the body has this optimal ability to function and to heal. Um, and then making sure you're getting the right nutrients and all those things in there as well. So easy, quick video for you to start to encourage you. Uh, I get to see her again. For those of you that haven't seen, sweet baby Eleanor. She's so pretty. Yeah. So tell her how much you love her because I know we do. And uh, tell her how much. Just wish her, give her some blessings, whatever you guys want to do. I appreciate them. Um, and I'm going to start shooting these videos. I keep getting out of the camera here. I'm going to start shooting these videos daily. And we're going to call it the Real Health Professionals. And we're interviewing. I did some interview, an interview this weekend. You can look at our, um, our YouTube. Uh, I posted it on my Facebook earlier, but a YouTube video of how to boost your testosterone levels, how to build muscle. I did that with my personal trainer. And I'm just going to try to find the, these health professionals that are doing things right, meaning drug-free, medication-free, and trying to get people healthy naturally. And I'm going to start to interview those people as, long, as well as um, you know, giving you some things from, that, you know, from my bank as well. All right? Well, you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. Say one more hi or hello or thumbs up, whatever those things are on Facebook, likes for Eleanor. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you tomorrow.